In fact, on a gap basis, 25% of its corporations now report losses. But China has, uh, shall we say, flexible accounting practices to boost perceived profits. And if we instead view this on a cash basis, using S&P Capital IQ's database of companies, the percentage that are posting a loss is much worse at 53% of the companies. By the way, do you notice the inflation anomaly here? U.S. analysts are expecting upward pressure on U.S. inflation, while China analysts are seeing troubling signs of disinflation and deflation in China. However, given that these two economies are the largest in the world and deeply intertwined, it will be hard, not impossible, but hard for both things to be true at the same time for very long. It's not unreasonable to expect that China's exported deflation could help moderate U.S. inflation.